Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm popping on to talk about eating 1,200 calories a day. And if you are just for some reason watching this video and you haven't seen any of my other content and you're thinking, this is a great plan, oh I'm so excited for her to talk about this. This is terrible. Please don't do this. No. Mm -mm. No. No. I don't care who told you that this was a good idea. I don't care why they told you it was a good idea. This is terrible. Unless you are a small child, <laughs> this is not a nutrition plan for a grown adult woman, especially somebody who is under stress, has hormonal patterns, cycles, all those things. Um, you know, and, and if you're active, working out, all those things. Being in a calorie deficit does not mean you're just going to lose weight, right? Our bodies are not math equations, right? It's not simple of, oh, if you just eat this many calories and then you work out this many calories, oh, you're going to get so fit. Mm, great. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Our bodies shift and change every week of the month. That's on a, that's just on a normal level. Now, if you have a hormonal issue, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, if you have cycle issues, if you have hormone processing issues, pff, your cycle's off, you're skipping periods, you're getting an extra period, you're spotting in between, you have cramps, right? Um, terrible PMS, you're having all these issues, heavy bleeding, mm, you eating 1200 calories is going to make that worse. It's going to deplete you more. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, every time. If you're in perimenopause or menopause, eating this few of calories, it's also going to be something that's going to stress your system out. Guess what that does? Guess what the female body loves to do when it's stressed? Stop its metabolism and you end up gaining weight and you cannot lose it no matter what you do. It is not about calories. It's not about calories. It's not about calories. Just counting calories is not going to let you just lose weight. Nope, 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 nope. No. No. Mm -mm. I can't tell you how many women I chat with every single day literally from all over the world. And this is what is like, try, it's like we're trying to be brainwashed into thinking, oh, this is just it. This is the magic thing. And if this isn't working for you, then you're doing it wrong or there's something wrong with you. When really, this is not a system that is set up for us to be successful on. The female body is very different and under stressors with hormone issues, all that stuff doesn't react and respond the same at all. So, now, I'm gonna go through this info. I'm gonna talk about these things specifically because I, I'm not saying that this is unhealthy, right? This isn't unhealthy at all. What I am saying is that if you really are trying to, you know, see a different result with your physical body and you're not working with your own body physiology and with how your hormones change throughout the month, you're missing on a huge opportunity for your own metabolism. So you stop fighting with your system. How long can you do something like this before you burn out? How long can you do this before something happens, you end up being in a lot of stress and you crash and burn and binge every time, right? That's not, it's not sustainable. This is not a healthy, sustainable eating plan at all. You fell, you fell, you fell. I got really excited and I moved my arms around and you fell. You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> A very active person. Okay, so, and talking about this stuff again, talking about 1,200 calories. <laughs> Let's hope you don't fall again. Stay there. Don't move. Um, and talking about all this stuff again, again, I want to make sure that you guys realize when I talk about health and the female body, I'm really talking about getting your body to its healthiest self, getting your body to function at its absolute best. So, for more references, information, all this stuff, I have a YouTube channel, which is called Dr. <gasps> nope, it's slipping again. My thing is breaking. This one, this time I think I broke it. Um, my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy, and I have a ton of resources and info for you there. Um, lots of videos on lots of stuff. If you're looking for a resource on something and you don't see it there, message me. I'm more than happy to do a video on it and let you know, oh, adenomyosis or, you know, implant illness or something like that. I do a ton of info on women's health issues. Uh, my podcast is called The Female Health Solution and tons of info on there as well. And then I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, talking all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. Um, I also talk about the history of nutrition and how that's set up for men not women. Mm -hmm. Lots of great content in here. And then I also have my 12 week challenge, which the wait list is open for right now. So I'll put info in here. Let's again, hope that I don't break this again. 
I'm, this is just real, right? Like real life. This is how it goes sometimes. Sometimes I break stuff. Sometimes my kids interrupt me. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's real life. Um, I want to make sure you guys can see all the stuff that I draw on here. So lots of resources, lots of info. And again, in the, in the 12 week challenge, I take you through eating for your hormones, your cycle. I take you through how to really get a completely different result with your system, not using a shortcut, not using a cheap trick, not trying to force something that's going to happen in your system. That's not naturally meant to happen. We start working with your system. We start working with how your body naturally functions. Then you feel better. Things work better. And then results that you get, you get to keep. That's a natural positive side effect from that. That's how that should work, right? That's how that should work. So again, get on the wait list. Registration opens September 18th and I can only take so many women. So you can only get the link for registration on the wait list. That's why I have that. So, and I put a lot of other great info on there too, even more than what I share just in social media. Okay. So the 1200 calories thing, 1200 calories, right? Hmm. I'm eating 1200 calories, but I still can't lose weight. Why is that? Why is that? What is happening that this isn't happening for my body, right? Well, let's look at this. Let's break this down. <clears throat> now there's five meals here. Okay. And you'll see, oh, these seem to be all healthy options, healthy options. Right. Okay. Right. I'm not going to say no to that. Right. Oh, look, there's, there's multiple different types of food. You're not eating the same thing all day long. Right. Um, it's all whole food. Oh, okay. Right. Great. Yes. Yes. The issue is here is looking at everything in terms of a calorie. You're eating five meals, you're getting some type of nutrient in, but basically you're just like teasing your digestive system a little bit and not actually fueling your body. There's a difference. There's a huge difference. You're taking this 1200 calories and you're just breaking it down into three meals that are 300 calories, right? And then two snacks that are only 150 calories. That's restrictive eating. It's a math equation again to equal 1200 calories at the end of the day. So let's really look at this. Your first meal, a half a cup of oatmeal, walnuts, and blueberries. Okay, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, right? This is a half a cup. Like this is a half a cup. How full are you gonna feel off of this? For how long? If you work out, if you're active, if you have stress, this is gonna last you, I don't know, maybe an hour, Maybe, maybe this would last me like 20 minutes of energy wise. Seriously. If you look at like a regular bowl, this is a bowl I got from my kitchen. Ugh, these are my Corel bowls. I got these for my wedding, right? I got the dish set. This is like my last bowl left. <laughs> my husband and kids break stuff, but I still love it. Mm. This only this in here. Oh, it's white on white. I should have gotten a different color, but like, look how tiny this is in here. That's not, it's not very much. Right? So your bowl is only going to be filled like this much with oatmeal. Are you kidding me? What? You might as well eat out of a cup. Like this is a cup. Just make a half a cup in here and like eat the, that's all you're getting. It's like eating. This reminds me of eating, um, like with kid toy f food things. You know what I mean? Like kid, um, like tea sets. <sighs> that's not for a grown person. That's for a child. Uh, my kids eat more than that. My kids eat about a cup and a half of oatmeal when they eat oatmeal and they put protein in it. Proatmeal, protein powder and oatmeal. It's amazing. And they eat more than a cup in the morning and they have for a long time. So not enough, not enough calories. Plus the other thing, what is it that really helps boost your metabolism with the number one thing for women, number one nutrient metabolism, number one nutrient to boost metabolism. I'm talking too fast. I'm so excited about this. Number one nutrient right here, protein. So you're getting 10 grams of protein. Well, that's great, right? No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you're not top loading your day with protein. You're not giving yourself enough protein to actually fuel your body. Yeah. To actually rebuild that muscle tissue. It's not enough. It's not enough. It really isn't. So it's only 10 grams of protein. So that's not enough to sustain you. So then you're burning out and then you're getting really hungry. Can't wait for this next snack half a cup of cottage cheese and an apple. Okay. All right. Is this bad? It's not bad, right? It's just, again, another tiny like tease of a thing, another 10 grams of protein, but it's only 150 calories. I don't care. It's not enough protein. You're not getting anything to sustain you. 
Not getting anything to balance your blood sugars. What balances your blood sugars the best? Protein. Protein does. Ugh. So this is making you hungrier. Ruining your blood sugar levels. Blood sugar maintenance. Not helping you build lean muscle. Not helping you get to and stay in a fat burning mode. And for women, that is harder to do. We do not get to and stay in fat burning like men do. We just don't. It is harder. And if you're not fueling for that, if you're not get, because protein is for metabolism. Protein is for blood sugar. So those things, you're setting yourself up to fail right away. Okay, lunch. A chicken salad. Now one that's 300 calories. So your chicken salad's gonna be tiny. <laughs> tiny little chicken salad. Not too much. Mm -mm. But say you get about 20 grams of protein in there, like half a chicken breast. Okay, all right. I'm not mad about that. And then we're looking at like a hard boiled egg and half a cup of carrots. Again, half a cup. What? This isn't enough food for anybody. Again, except for children. If you're like a grown person, right? So th the thing to keep in mind here too is that you need to account for all the things in your life. That's why you need more protein. That's why you need more nutrient for your system. If you are in a progesterone phase of your cycle, days 15 through 28, you need more nutrient. You need more proteins and healthy fats. If you have stress in your life, <laughs> there's stress. It's 2020. Come on. Stress, right? You need more protein there. That's again, now we, you need protein, protein, um, hormone issues, any other hormone issues that you have. You have um, heavy periods, you have hot flashes, whatever it is, boom, you're going to need more protein there. <laughs> this is fun, right? So this is how much more you need to focus on protein for your body and system. If you're working out, if you're being active, if you're trying to build lean muscle for women, boom, you need to get enough protein, right? These are all these things that if you're not getting enough protein, instead of having these things work in your favor, they're going to work against you. These are all things they teach you in the 12 week challenge. So again, that wait list is right there in the comments. You can learn more about it um, or even just start, just get started somewhere, right? I got a ton of resources out there for you to get started with, but it's not that this is bad. It's just that you're setting yourself up to fail, not supporting blood sugar levels, not supporting your body to deal with stressors, not supporting your body to go through any hormonal issues, not supporting muscle tissue, nothing. You're starting your day and getting depleted right away. And then you're trying to just like squeak by coasting on fumes the rest of the day. This is going to affect your energy. It's going to affect all these things and it'll affect your sleep at night. So now you get to the afternoon and you're like, good Lord, I'm hungry. Okay. Hard boiled egg, half carrots. Oh my gosh. Six grams of protein in a hard boiled egg. It's just, it's nothing, right? It's nothing. When you, as a grown person, you need to fuel your body. And then finally, last meal of the day, two small like corn tortillas, fish tacos. Again, keeping it at 300 calories so you can't have lots of goodies on top of it because it's just got to be 300 calories. Hmm. 20 grams of protein there. I was being generous with that estimation. 66 grams of protein total at most. Is that enough to support your lean muscle tissue? Probably not. That's why you can't lose weight. If you're not getting enough nutrient to support your lean muscle tissue, you're under stress, you have hormone issues, everything else. And because the female body does not burn fat like the male body does, what it does is if you're fatigued and not fueling enough, it will attack your muscle tissue and use that for energy. Yeah. So you're working out, you get exhausted and you feel like, oh, I mean, I feel good that I'm working out, but I'm not getting anywhere. Like, I, uh, I'm not seeing any results from it. What is happening? Maybe I just need to eat less. You're going in the wrong direction. You're going in the wrong direction. Ooh, ooh, good question, good question. How much protein do we need? Good question. It's different for everybody. So, you know, in the 12 week challenge, I do make recommendations for, our, you know, for each person to say, okay, this is about what you would need. This is about what you would need to start, all these other things. Um, and then we adjust it and tweak it from there. Once you get used to eating an amount of protein for your body, what it needs, you'll know how to shift it and adjust it for your goals if they change, if you hit a plateau and you get stuck, if you need to um, change your nutrients because of hormones or, you know, stressors in your life. 
Again, if you go through menopause, you need more protein to do the same job that it was doing before menopause, right? As an example, as an example, I am, uh, I'll use myself, I am 6'2". I don't look like it, but I'm 6'2". I'm huge. <laughs> um, and I will get 170 grams of protein a day, 180, depending on what, you know, 190, right? Somewhere in that range. It's a lot. If I get 150, it's low for me. But I'm, I'm 6'2". I'm very active. I like to lift heavy. Yay! Right? So I'm fueling for my body so that I can do the activity I need to do and like to do and want to do, be with my family, have energy for that mental clarity focus, deal with stress and all those things in the world and not have it hold me back. Right? And, 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 and do all, and do all the things, right? My body is, is designed so that I can work out and feel healthy and feel strong and, and do the work I want to do in the world and, and enjoy my family and, and have a good life right? If your body's holding you back, you know, where do you start? And so often we're taught that, okay, just lose the weight and then it'll get better. But if there's something going on in your system that you gain weight as a result, the result, the, 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 the salt solution to that problem is not just lose weight. The solution is fix what's wrong. Then the weight loss becomes a positive side effect from your body working better. Those are the things that we go through in the 12 week challenge. So again, link is in the comments below to get on the wait list. But this is the thing I see so often. Women will try and pick it apart. I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. And you go to like, well, I did have, I do have coffee and maybe I could take the creamer out. I'm like, oh my God, you're using like a tablespoon of creamer. Like that's not gonna ruin everything. Like adding 20 more calories isn't gonna ruin it where you're not losing weight. That means your metabolism isn't working. You should be able to eat you know, healthy foods with enough protein for your system and body and have your metabolism burn the fuel that you are feeding it and have all the good energy and everything else and your body to function and work properly. If that's not happening, there's something wrong and we need to look at it and know what that is. So you should not be exhausted throughout the day. You should not be falling asleep in the afternoon unless you want to for fun, right? But you shouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, if I don't lay down right now, I'm worried that I won't be able to drive home from work. Right? I've worked with women that they literally would take naps at their desk before they leave or naps in their car. Set alarms. 20 minute nap. Yeah. Because they're worried about driving. They're so tired. And they're trying so hard to lose weight. And at that point, you're just depleting your body further. Stop depleting your body. It is not about calories here. And again, I'm not saying that this isn't a healthy diet. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just like double all of it. <laughs> more, <laughs> more, more, more protein, double protein. You're going to feel so different. This is one of the things like literally you can take this, write this down and just add protein, add protein, add a scoop of protein powder to this or have a protein shake with this. Great. This, have it be a cup at least. Get 20 grams of protein here. Chicken salad, have more than just this, right? And a protein bar or something, right? Hard, get out of here with that. Jeez. I don't know. Protein shake, protein bar, something like that. Or, um, you know, just more, more food here. And then have like four tacos. Tacos are delicious. <laughs> uh, hi, Mary. Yes. Yes. It's, it's super hard to live like this day after day feeling depleted because you get brain fog and everything else. And where your brain goes is picking apart the tiny thing here. Did I put too much walnuts on my, on my oatmeal? Did I, is that too much? No, the whole thing is not enough. <laughs> the whole thing here is not enough, right? That's the biggest difference there. So I'm like sweating all worked up about this. All right. So hopefully this has been informational for you and realizing that a tiny little half a cup of food is not going to sustain you for anything. No, no. Again, my kids eat more than a cup of oatmeal in the morning. Gotta be kidding me. 
wrote those down for examples. Visual aids for this video. So, so fired up about this. Anyway. All right. Let me know what your questions are. If you've got questions, please put them in the comments. Um, I would love to know if there's something that's unclear or that you're like, oh, but I feel like so-and-so told me this or somebody else got a great result with this or I used to be able to do this. Yeah, you used to be able to do this before you had a ton of stress and you had hormone issues. Mm. <laughs> I know. I just feel like sunshine and rainbows right now with some of this news. But it's important. It's important that you understand this is not your fault. This is not something that you did. This is not, you know what I mean? Like eat for your body, eat for what your hormones need align with what your system needs and it will work better for you. You should not fight to be in your body. You should not feel like you're stuck in a body that's not working. There's so many things that we can do using regular nutrition things. Sometimes we need to fill any nutrition gaps with other, you know, supplements or something, but that's very specific. <sighs> yes. But if you have questions, please let me know. You can put something in the comments. If you have questions and want me to do another video tomorrow on it, more than happy to do that. I'm a resource for you. My mission is just to get this info to women, to have women understand our bodies work differently. And once we can work with them, it's a whole different path to get a better result. <sighs> yes. So, and again, I have my book, The Female Fat Solution, my podcast, The Female Health Solution, my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, and then, of course, my 12-week challenge link is in the comments. You do not want to hesitate if you are interested because registration does fill up really, really fast. So, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you later.